back there, and so forth, for a quick and dirty demo. I might under color, knowing that I can change that color as I go along, or perhaps starting it with that color and then quickly putting another color in so that it's... The first color you put down, that's not a... you mix that to sort yeah. of... Yeah, actually put down a color, say, for the sand. It's going to be easier for me to get a big mass of color to relate to. So. Is that the right color? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. At least it's a big spot of color, and I can start relating this color to this color. I know that eventually I'm going to want something a little bit more in that direction over in here. Now, people look at this knife that I'm working here as I'm getting something that's maybe a little bit too similar to what I chose for the, the water. So, I put that down. I can always push it. But I still want to have a color. The gesso that I have on here, by the way, is uh, an absorbent gesso that's kind of strange to work with. But, uh, about like that. Maybe that's right, maybe it's not, but at this point, and typically all of my paintings start, but at this point I can start saying, okay, what's the most right color? What's the most wrong color? And then I can start altering the relationships based on that judgment. Go over with another color, and this is why start with that darker color like that. So I wanted to lay the... That, that's what I found about using the palette like this, sure you can lay the colors on like yeah. that a lot easier. Mm -hmm. It doesn't pick up the under stuff with the yeah, brush. Yeah, the brush, the brush yeah. doesn't pull yeah. the undercolor. You, yeah. you, you might pick up a little bit of it. Is and that your manganese color or what blue? Affect this color. Well, you know, I'm looking at this and saying to myself, I wasn't sure that this was going to work early on, but now, with all the colors around it, it's beginning to work. And you'll find that for yourselves, that frequently, when you have gotten a lot of colors around a color, it'll make that color work. And as I said, it's all about relationships. In there, and I'm seeing some kind of warm notes like that in there, so I might put a color like that in. I see some cooler, bluer colors. They're all, the sky on a day like today can actually be kind of all-consuming. There's so much going on in the sky that's beautiful. But, uh, but I'm still seeing this as close enough to work with. I'm never looking for absolute perfection early on because it's just impossible to achieve and it's, it, it'll drive you nuts if you're looking for that kind of perfection. It's, it's